I never dreamed this would ever happen. Uh, I like the job, and the thing that I like the most about it is that what I'm able to do for the people of the great state of Arizona. I have a very positive attitude about Arizona, where we're going, and uh, that's what makes me really like the job. When I'm faced with an issue, regardless of the magnitude of it, I immediately uh, try to resolve it, and we're very responsive. The entire staff is. That's what I like about it. The compliments that you get when you thank you for responding to this, or thank you for taking action on that, or thank you for uh, handling our particular problem. Uh, we don't do any favors because we can't, but we try to give them an honest and, a, and an immediate answer to any request that comes to the office. What's been the high point and low point of your administration thus far? Uh, the high point uh, of the administration is, as I said, by, by um, going up to the office under such adverse conditions and being able to appoint a capable staff and uh, carried on and bringing stability back to the state of Arizona. How about the low point? Well, the low point, I would have to say, when I, when I had my accident, but it certainly didn't keep me from working. I continued to work from uh, my home, and I'm feeling better. And, and it really wasn't a low point, because it shows you that if, with determination, that you can carry on, even though uh, that, that I was hurt. And that, of course, was the freakish incident that happened over in the Yuma area. Uh, I want to ask you about leadership qualities. When you first took the job, there was some criticism that uh, Rose Mofford may not have what it takes, the right stuff, as far as leadership. What do you say to that? Well, anybody can criticize, but I think under the conditions in which we took over, uh, I think that we have proven um, um, unquestionably that uh, the state has continued to move forward. There isn't the chaos that we were faced with when we uh, went into the office, and I, I feel, and I have heard it nationally as well as locally, that uh, stability has been brought back to the state of Arizona. And Arizona is uh, um, certainly is uh, looked upon as a state that's going to go forward, and, and I, I feel that I've played a, a role in seeing that this has happened. Governor, clearly the budget is the number one issue facing lawmakers in Phoenix. Do you feel that you're being sabotaged by some Republican lawmakers who may be trying to derail your budget proposals? Well, when I presented my budget, I, I, it wasn't figures that I just uh, thought up. We worked during the hot summer. We worked with every agency. I have visited every agency, and that's why I'm here today. I know what they need and what they're faced with. And, uh, and uh, when I presented my budget in every instance, it was done last year toward the end of the year. Figures change in the various agencies. More services are demanded because of the growth of the state. And uh, I feel that the mandates that are put on the books by the lawmakers that are require these services should be paid for and funded. And the budget that I presented will just do that. Under what circumstances could you see yourself vetoing the entire budget or a good deal of it? I would never even consider it, uh, vetoing the entire budget unless it was absolutely necessary. I don't even like to use the uh, word veto at all, and uh, we, we, don't want to, we don't want to use that word, but I have given them a, a proposal when I gave my state of the state of how this can be accomplished, and I show a figure of a $255 million, uh, deficit, and I feel that we can sit down and, as I said, um, pound on the table and work these things out. I have not asked for new programs. The programs that I'm, I may have asked for one or two that pertain to children and children's services, but the, the, the money that I've asked for will just keep state government going uh, at the level that it's operating now. As far as economic development, what's the key selling point that Arizona has as far as attracting new business to the state? Uh, that, that, we, that we care, that we offer a good quality of life, we offer an excellent uh, educational system, and that, that they will have protection, health, and safety. What influence is Evan Meekham playing in this legislature? Well, I'm inclined to think that, that the result of the last election that some of the legislators are a little afraid to take on some of the issues because of, of what effect it might have in 1990 in their election. I feel that many of them have run on the idea of no tax 
and they're trying to paint Governor Moffat as a person that will tax and spend, but that isn't the, the picture at all. As I said, I presented a budget that would only keep uh, the mandated services for the state of Arizona, and those are on the books, and we have to fund those. It's interesting that the governor of Arizona has a listed telephone number in the Phoenix directory, yet at the same time there are persistent complaints from reporters who say you are just inaccessible to the news media. What do you say to that? Well, I have my uh, media man here. Have you found me inaccessible? I, I answer every call. I'm in the phone book. I'm very easy. I'm on the job every day. I have not left the state of Arizona. I have not taken a vacation, and uh, that, that may have been there. Uh, uh, um, the way they felt at first, but you, you don't go up to an office, an empty office, and have a conference the first day, and, and you don't have a, a press conference every day because uh, there was a frenzy out there when I got there, and there was news meet being made every day. I cannot make that news. I only want what's good for the state and will address those issues and certainly keep the press informed of what's going on. We have a schedule that uh, they know where I am every minute of the day.